getting back to your your tenure at, at Princeton in the yeah. early days, early days yeah. you oh. were the Johnny Appleseed. I think you were called that by Brian Joyner, the That's Johnny right. Appleseed of statistics <laughs> because you had been yeah. going around yeah. and, and all this, uh, yeah. uh, planting That's all a, these seeds. I was very on, happy with that sobriquet. That's a well, very yeah. Nice, yeah. Well, it's, it's nice. It's, That's uh, I was. That's, I did that. Yeah. yeah it's, did. it's well placed. And I, had, and I had plenty of opportunity. I mean, it was, uh, uh, you know, the people were starving for he to hear about these things and learn yeah. more about them. Yeah. Now, these were people who were associated with ASQC chemical yeah, division. Chemical or, division. Or, Tiny Shule. Now, there's another one. That's, Tiny Shule, remember Tiny Shule? He's about 6'4 and weighed about 280 pounds. So they called him Tiny. Like this. Yeah, Tiny Shule. <laughs> he worked for um, Exxon in, in Houston. And I gave a whole series. I gave that, that three-day course at Houston on oh, maybe th two or three times at least. Mm -hmm. And I remember we, they used to get the Marchands. They'd go into this classroom and he'd gone out and got all these Marchand calculators and had these guys... <laughs> Doing the forward doodle <laughs> to solve the equations and then, back in that. That's a long time ago. Must know. have been a noisy operation. It was a noisy yeah. operation. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could find those notes of that. I mean, uh, they, it'd be interesting to read them now and see what they said. But anyway. Who, who were some of the driving forces behind these courses? These courses. Well, the, uh, um, Cora Sanders is now the time of being Horace in the picture, I suppose. He, uh, Horace Sanders was a... Um, he comes in early in my my career as a statistician because he graded papers for Miss Cox. Uh -huh. He was taking him. He was taking it. He has a, he has a PhD in animal science, animal nutrition, or something like that. Anybody? He was taking all these statistics courses and very good at enamored of statistics. And he used to grade our papers. I remember. And so I remember. I said when I, I remember, first time I remember meeting him. Now where do I get into this? Oh yeah. And um, he goes to he he leaves and um, goes to. He went to Swift and Company, the meat packers. That's right, meat uh -huh. packer, right? And um, and he's in ASQ or ASQC in the chemical division. He's active, you know, he's, like we all were. And he got himself onto the education committee of the ASQC, and he was a you know pretty much a driving force in getting the various local sections to sponsor these things. So, so you'd go you know you'd go to Rochester, you'd go to here and there in the next place, some local section would say, can you get Stu Hunter to come? And I'd say, sure, I'd come. <laughs> uh -huh. So then the, um, and what that was doing, incidentally, just in, and this also happened with the early courses at uh, Endicott, et cetera, the chemical division was, I guess, accruing lots and lots of money. They weren't out to make the money, but it, they, they charged a modest amount, and the, the courses were always, almost always fully subscribed, oversubscribed. And so they were making mints of money, and the trick was what to, how to resourcefully employ the money. And, um, and somewhere along that line, where the discussions began about sponsoring a journal. Uh huh. And um, we were at the SDRG <clears throat> and with George and so forth, and those, those discussions would show up at the Gordon Conferences. As a matter of fact, it became an active consideration at the Gordon Conference that we needed a, a journal to exposit the things that we were hearing at the conferences. And the JSA didn't seem to be the right place, and, and, and the British had their own journal, and, you know, we, we should have one here in the States. So um, George got interested in that, I got interested in that, Cuthbert got interested in it. And um, so we, um, the trouble was, we were statisticians, and we, were, we pay our first, you know, to the American Statistical Association. However, we are involved with the ASQ thing. And so the um, ASQ had the money, and ASQ also had the same desire for a journal. Mm -hmm. the, they had a, they, they had a uh, what did they call that early journal that the ASQ had before it, developed, before it broke up into the... They had Industrial Quality Control, IQC. IQC, that mm -hmm. was what it was, yeah, with, with Mason Westcott yeah, as, yes. the, as the editor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that was, that was sort of more chatty, a very elementary level of statistics. They wanted to do something. So here was this desire upon the ASQ and the, the desire in the ASA amongst the personnel here and the personnel there to coalesce all this. So the trick was how to do this. And uh, so the, the, well, what it ended up with, we just said we decided we just have to raise the money for the ASA. They didn't have the money to do it. Uh -huh. So that's when the George and I did the started the courses on evolutionary operation. Ah, okay. And Truman Kaler. Do you remember Truman Yes, Kaler? indeed, Truman Kaler. Uh -huh. 
And uh, so we now did he it. was uh, Truman Kaler was associated with uh, what organization at that Truman point? Truman Kaler was working for Cyanamid at Cyanamid the time. as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, good old Truman. Yeah. <laughs> Any rate, so um, we gave this course. I remember in the in the YMCA at, in Newark. On the occasion I go to Newark, I go by by that YMCA. And I always think about how we <laughs> down in the basement, the George Box lecturing, and I'm lecturing, and there's old Truman Kaler handing out the notes and so forth. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, any rate, so we raised, we gave that, gave that, Truman and I, George pulled out of that teaching thing, but Truman and I gave that course, oh, I don't know, scores of times. And they made a lot of money for the ASA. So now the ASA had money and the chemical division had money. So to get them to get, do it together. And so Cuthbert Daniel and George and I went to see Alan Wallace, who was the, um, uh, at that time, he was head of the business school at the University of Chicago. Oh, I went out there first to see him in the uh, story there. I went to see Alan Wallace, Dean Wallace. <clears throat> and uh, I went to his office and the secretary said, well, he's not in at the moment. He's expecting you, but why don't you just go sit in his office? So I go sit in his office and I'm not, I'm not in there more than two or three minutes. And I'm feeling very, I'm just not feeling comfortable. I'm in the man's office, you know, and... and, 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 and so I come back out and I said, I don't, I'm not feeling comfortable. I, I just prefer to sit on here with you. She says, you know why you're not feeling comfortable? And I said, well, you know, it's, this is personal. She says, no, that's not the reason, she said. I'll tell you the reason. All the furniture in that office is built oversized. <laughs> Alan Wallace is a big man. It's a big man. And so uh-huh. you sat in the chair and you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> You felt small. You felt small. You felt like a child, yeah. <laughs> what an unfair thing to do to a person. Well, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the, I know, and the first thing Alan Wallace said to me, when, when, not the first thing we described, the hopes of the journal and so forth. He said, well, I'll tell you, uh, Stu, he said that thing. When, when someone has an idea and someone has the resources, I just get out of their way. Uh-huh. uh-huh. We were really afraid that the, as editor of JSA, you know, he would feel. Oh, yeah. Terrible competition, mm-hmm. not at all. My attitude is get out of their way. Mm-hmm. So he welcomed that. He that, welcomed that, it, yeah. And, and so. And, and then later on, Jay, <laughs> Cuthbert and, and I beat him again in New York City, and there are more details to be hammered out. And slowly but surely, the uh, two societies agreed to um, put the journal out. And so. So now you have this this fledgling journal being yeah. sponsored jointly by, by the society. American Statistical Association and the American Society, society for Quality and Control, the, as it yeah, was then. Same. Yes, okay. And it was a big success. The thing that's uh-huh. well, I, I know I was so sort of self-appointing. My, well, I tell you what, I, I when I was at at, at Raleigh. Um, I should remember this lady's name was the gal who put together biometrics for Miss Cox. I'll catch her name any hour now, mm-hmm. but anyway. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I used, to, I used to help her. When I was in high school, I ran the, I ran the sign assure of the school book and the newspaper. And so oh, I, you know, yeah. so I, was, I, I knew enough about font sizes and things like that. Uh-huh. So I'd help her. Put you were together. experienced editor at yeah, this point. Yeah, experienced editor. I helped her paste up the versions of biometrics <laughs> filled me. Talk. So I had that sort of prior experience in this thing. So I thought, so what the heck, I'll be in it. I'm, I'm out. I'll, I'll pump for editor. And so I, I ended up the editor of Tectometrics. <laughs> <laughs> now that started, the first issue was in 1959, I believe. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And do you, how long were you the editor before was, you... Uh, about formerly, I was editor for four full years, actually five years. The fifth year... I, I handed the, we handed over the reins to Fred Leone, uh-huh. and uh, he he then from that point on in time it went Fred Leone and Harry Smith, and I forget uh, anyway another list of wonderful names of guys oh, yeah. that were active. Now in the where end. where was Fred Leone? What what? Well, Fred Leone had been uh, executive secretary <laughs> of the American Statistical Association, uh-huh. and he had worked with Norman Johnson, N. L. Johnson, and um, on a. Did he work with Norman on the encyclopedia? I guess he must have. He and Norman Johnson were collaborators on several papers together and so on. And when he stepped down as uh, executive director of the ASA, he was locked up with the, with the um, 
Roman Catholic Church or something, and he would, took a, he took another career path. Oh. But he kept his interest in statistics going. Mm-hmm. So, so he assumed the editorship of um, Technometrics after he had retired as executive director of the I see. And then it went on to Harry Smith, who yeah. was at Procter and Gamble. That's wasn't right. It? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good old Harry. Harry so Stewart. They, they, as I recall, in those days, they would alternate from industrial statistician to academic, been, back I, and I, forth. I, wonder, I, I don't know I if think, that persists, yeah, but it, yeah, it, yeah. at least back it started out day, that way. Yeah. Yeah. That kept it real, don't you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh-huh. It's now become quite an, more an international journal now. And, uh-huh. um, yeah. the, uh, and of course, the Journal of Quality Technology pops up about that time when... Yeah. Because the ASQ was, figure of technometrics was just a little bit too highbrow for, and, so, and they needed applied papers written to an uh-huh. applied audience who weren't uh-huh. statisticians. They uh-huh. they felt that technometrics <laughs> reasonably. I can understand this. I would, oh, I didn't like the idea of another journalist popping up like that. But you know, just, they got an idea and they've got the energy to get out mm-hmm. of their way, and it happened anyway. So, so, just to backtrack a bit, then you were really at the at the birth of that journal of technometrics, oh, absolutely, you, you, yeah. you were there and served as the, as oh, yeah, the first. Oh I, yeah, I, I, I put a lot of energy to get that going, yes. Okay. I had a lot of help, a lot of help, ha ha, listen, to collaborative like Cuthbert Daniel, George Box, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> People like that, holy smokes, well, I mean, what? Can... More than just midwives. Oh yeah, boy, yes. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> now at the same time, we have the beginnings of what we affectionately call the Fall Technical Conference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a conference that's sponsored by ASA and by ASQC, yeah. or ASQ yeah, now. now. And the now, divisions... That's, a, that's an interesting story, too, because okay. um, uh, Dick Freund is the man that is now... He was at Kodak in Rochester. Right. And um, he became an associate editor of Technometrics... And he was always a good friend. I don't, I don't know where, pick, where Dick and I first, our paths first cross, probably any number of times and occasions anyway. But he was really a sincere, you know, really interested in getting this stuff out in the real world and developing new tools and so on. He was just a good guy all the way around. And um, <clears throat> so he said that what we needed was a, a joint meeting between the ASQ and the ASA that on, on these technical subjects. Statistics applied with the industrial and under the industrial envi- in the industrial environment. We needed that kind of a mm-hmm. so we ran. He ran the first fall technical conference, I think, in Rochester at Kodak in Rochester. Oh, mm-hmm. and um, do you remember when that might have been? In the early sixties, sixties, very early sixties, okay. I think. Yeah, and then that went from one to plan to end, and so on. From now it can, has converged onto the regular fall technical conference, yeah. which is co-sponsored by the two. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I believe the sponsoring organizations are SPES, yes, and Q and P in, in ASA. In, yeah, in ASA, and then uh, Chemical and Process Industries Division and the Statistics Division, division of the ASQ yeah. of ASQ. Q, yeah. Yeah. But um, actually. I think you can you can tip your hat to Dick Freund, who is anxious to help Tectometrics uh, give opportunity for people to ex- present their papers and then to publish their papers. Mm-hmm. And he was really keen, you know, a real supporter of <coughs> Tectometrics from the outside. He wasn't he wasn't, wasn't part of the inner group in that sense, but he was a, so, you know, a real fighter in the in the trenches. And uh, so, you know, Dick was a good guy. All he was way a prime. Now you, you partnered with him to get. That fall technical conference going. I mean, yes, was, yeah. I would think that, that's fair to say. Yeah. And, and, but and some others. Right, but, but it wouldn't have happened yeah. without. It. I mean, uh-huh. he was. A, no, he. We talked about that someplace or other. We said we really need it. We really need to get this fire going and uh, do more to get the get the thing. And I, uh, any rate, he he organized the first one. Okay, mm-hmm. put it that way. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it wouldn't have happened without him and his no. enthusiasm and all the rest of it. There's a there's a there's a Dick Freund prize that you that uh, the scholarship the, scholarship mm-hmm. the yep. ASQ puts out yeah, yep. yeah. And, and in honor in his honor well, yeah. he deserves it he was a good man indeed 